Hi guys! Welcome to another episode of Parks After Dark and tonight we have a special interview with Dave Hartman. He's a certified Disney World vacation planner and he does vacation planning worldwide and he's also a member of Disney Vacation Club and he's been in the industry for about 15 years now. Yes. And he loves Disney. Love it with a passion. Loves it with a passion. So thank you for joining us tonight. Yes. And do you want to tell us a little bit more about what you do? Oh, first off, I love your um, the blog. Oh, thank you. Um, I met my friend here, Jamie. Yes. Hello. Katie Perry. Katie Perry. Katie Perry eyes. Enough about last year. We stayed in touch and kept going to meet up. Yeah. And uh, when you introduced me to Parks After Dark, I said that's fantastic. And, and that's going to be here. So I appreciate the time to interview. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank, Thank you for coming. Thank you for the time for us. Yeah. So, I did not come to Walt Disney World until 2005 um, for a lot of reasons. And when I did, my friends brought me here and I kind of saw it from an yeah, adult view. So, yeah. so, my approach to the parks is, is much different um, than other people look at the parks and look at the resorts. And then over time, I was already selling Disney as a business. I started in 2007. And then from there, I grew it as a, as a very big part of that business. Um, both on the leisure side and also I have some businesses that come here too. Oh, okay. That's so, cool. so um, I, I've seen it all the resorts here. I come to the parks and stay here and um, about once a month. Oh, wow. I'm like a lot of people here who are local to the parks probably more every day than me. I actually stay on site when I'm here. Yeah. Because I need to experience the product for my clients. And one reason I joined Vacation Club is to experience the villa properties, yep. luxury properties. And I, just, I, my first year in the um, program, I used all my points for like three years. In the first year, oh, wow. staying one night here when I stayed at all the properties on site. Well, that's fine. Then you know, and yeah. you, you know, so, know so, where you so, want to so. go back or suggest to people. So, what's your favorite resort then? Favorite resort? Yeah. It depends who I'm with. I mean, Fort Wilderness Campground was my introduction to. Um, Walt Disney World, my friends, we had seven guys packed in a cabin. Oh my gosh. Don't tell Disney. Because <laughs> they, were, they were cast members from ESPN and they got half okay. off and the cheapest way was this cabin deal. And we loved, now we got into the fishing there. Yeah. And um, when my nephew who was on this program was up last time, they were in a hotel pulled east up the road. We were the cabin, they'd come crash over and hang out and cook oh, it up so and barbecue. That's awesome. So it's a whole it's a whole community over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but if I'm, if I'm here with like um, you know, different people that want to just parks, then anywhere in, in Epcot resorts because you can okay. walk into the theme parks. I love the resorts there at Epcot. Yeah. Like we stay at the Beach Club and the Yacht Club a lot because I love sure. the pool. Like the pools there are really cool, I think. Sure. Um, and I like how close it is to the valley. Sure. Right now. And then my favorite hotel here, as far as a hotel you can take anywhere, but anywhere in the world, if you walk class, is Animal Kingdom Lodge. That is just such a gem. Mm -hmm. but to have you know giraffes outside yeah. your door, and, it's just, it's just, and I always That's do Savannah cool. View. Oh, of course, right? It's fantastic. That's awesome. People ask, you know. They want to come here, but they want to get the fast passes for like flight of passage sure. or um, you know seven doors mine ride. Do you have any tips for getting those hard to find fast passes for people? Sure. First and foremost, stay on site. Okay. Then you stay on a Disney property, and now they've included some of their ancillary properties. They've oh, included really? Hotel Plaza Boulevard properties. So that's the B Resort, um, Best Western, Hilton, Holiday Inn. Uh, Palace, which now Those are considered part of Disney property now? Right? But now they're part of the program where they get the 60 day fast pass. Oh, that's interesting. And now they've added the uh, Wild of Astoria and the Hilton Next Door. Okay. And then the Four Seasons is now included. Wow. Right, where they get fast passes and early planning. Okay. So every pass holder, like you guys and myself, we can plan any fast pass one day at a time, 30 days out. Right. The key to being staying on site is you get to plan 60 days out from your check in day. So you actually get seven, up to 74 days oh, of planning. I didn't know that. Yeah. So Very it's, cool. It's, yeah. Up, it's up to, even if you stay here for a month, which yeah. you, some people do, yeah. um, <laughs> you only get two weeks. So there's, okay. there's an issue now where people at their 60 day window for flight of passage can't get a fast pass. Really? Because Holy everyone moly. who checked in before them was staying longer to go oh, the fast pass. Right. Especially, <laughs> and it's it happened a lot. And actually the trend is later in the week. If, on a Saturday, it's no problem because it's a check-in day. Yeah, we found that out the first year it opened. We're yeah. all, all my friends on Thursday, Friday couldn't get fast passes, but all all the check-ins on Saturday, if you got fast passes, no problem. So it's really oh, but it is common right now. Slinky mm. Dog Dash. Yes. And flight of passes are hard to get at 60 days out. Yeah. But there are other ways to get fast passes. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, I've, I've gotten to flight a passage fast pass once, yes. and it was just random luck. Like, yes. it was like two weeks out, and I was like, oh! There's a lot of random magic that is in Yeah. <laughs> there is no luck in life. It's all learning experience. Yes, uh, hashtag pound the app. Is, pound the app. That's yes, good to yeah. <laughs> so, so the key first is stay on site or the, and the neighborhood hotels call them. Yep. And then you get that 60 day planning window. And that way you'll get, most, at most times, all the fast passes you want. Yep. But the key is you got to plan. You plan your fast passes the first three hours after that morning. That way, you do your extra morning hours, roll into them, because it's a misnomer. Three fast passes you can pre-plan. But we did eight today, we're on uh, we have nine scheduled. So there's actually a limited amount of fast passes you can do based on how fast you can get through. Because after three that you've scheduled, you have to get those three done. You then can plan one at a time in any part. And once you once you complete that one, you can plan another. When I see people putting a fast pass at nine and one at one and one at six, yep. what are you doing? I know. Well, I, <laughs> okay, I've done that before, okay. but it's only because I'm booking like a week out, and yeah. I'm like, I want to go on this ride. That's different. Yeah, yeah. No, no I see. No, it's I see. It's your I mean, and again, they're all you viewers out there, all one million of you, it is important <laughs> to know that I'm talking about long-term vacation for right Yeah, now. no, that's Obviously for past holders to come here or people locals, you're, it's a whole different story, that's a whole different discussion. Yeah, absolutely. You gotta be prepared. Yeah. When your 60-day mark comes up at 7 a.m., you have to have some type of plan in place. Right, yeah. And most people do not. Like, how do you first plan your stay? Like, oh, I don't know, I want to go to this park first. I said, well, forget what you want to do. Um, Disney tells you what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Extra magic hour. Magic hour. The other benefit for staying on site. Yeah. And so the idea is that at the 60 day window, you have to have your whole vacation ready to go because all your fast passes can be planned that one more. Right. And that's hard. I mean, yeah. you're right. It is complex. And you know, you're thinking, okay, dining, where are we going to eat? You know, when's the best time to go? Like, look at the days of the week, look at the hours, look at the crowd levels. You know, it's a lot to try to figure out, you know, exactly. especially when you're that far out from a vacation too. Sure. So, but also what resort do you have? Yeah, that too. <laughs> there's 30 hotels now. That's a lot. More with those, yeah. now, now that with the benefits, there's 38. Now I gotta count it. There's a lot. Wow. Actually, we're opening a new one in Riviera. Oh yeah. It's going to be part of the program. Yeah. Uh, this is Skyliner, which I'm so excited for. Yes. That day. Yeah. Now I have so many trips up here. I forget. <laughs> Yo, no, it's six years. And Disney gives you a reminder the day after. <laughs> the day after. On it's purpose, on just to warn you, you said, you know it. what? You gotta be more proactive. Yeah. So that, that makes sense. That, that's the way I look at it. And when you talk to ten other planners today or ten other experts today, they probably have a different view of it. It's the best way to optimize your time. You yeah. know, you're spending a lot of money to come here on vacation. You're gonna wanna get the most bang for your buck, yeah. basically, yeah. And, and do as much as you can. So. The way it works is that I picked up a flight pass with fast pass in 45 days out. It just appeared. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunate. And I was already looking at doing extra magic hours that day. So we're probably gonna do oh, yeah. we're gonna do flight passes twice tomorrow. Wow. Because we'll get there early in the morning, extra magic hours. That's crazy. Get in. Twice? Yeah. What? Flight of passage twice. We're gonna do an extra magic hours. Wow. And then we got a fast pass for 130. Yep. Booked 45 days out. Nice. Wow. That is that's impressive. That's good planning. <laughs> Uh, what rules the roost is, even at 60 days out, like we said, flight of pass may be available the third day of your vacation, and then we'll, you know what, grab it for that day, then build your vacation around it. Right. Mm -hmm. It's also what are your priorities? What if you want a day, two days at the pool? You know, right. that's all the stuff. Yeah. So, so, so yeah, I'm a big fan. This is no offense to people watching of legitimate planning. Um, a lot of people will maybe book a campsite at Fort Wilderness and never use it. Or they'll book a reservation cancel. I, I heard now Disney, if you cancel a reservation, they'll cancel your fast pass. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm so, obviously we're parks after dark, so we do Disney at night. That's right. So, as far as nighttime um, attractions or shows or things to do at Disney, what, what do you suggest? What do you think are some of the best nighttime experiences? Sure, again, when I look, when I'm coming or I plan for clients, where are the fireworks and what time? Fireworks. That yeah. to me is the key. Yeah. Now, if you've done the shows, then, then what are the other shows you haven't seen? It? Like, have you seen Rivers of Light? It's a great show. Right. And most people have not seen Rivers of Light. Yeah. yeah I, and, I and, actually, and, and, and actually haven't seen point. it. Actually. What? No, I've never seen it. Oh. I, I've had a fast pass for it, yeah. but I didn't make it to the show. Well, how about oh, this? I got really a, good. A, a Port Canaveral now for almost two years. Yeah. She just saw Pandora Night for the first time. I'm like, Oh, that you have to see that. That's so, so beautiful. This, yeah, what have not? What have you not done? You know, and then seasonal show. What's happening that season? Mm -hmm. What are they doing? So, have you done Fantasmic? 
Yes. Like, uh, I'm a pretty sure Calvin did Phantasmic last time he was here. Yep. So pretty sure we got Phantasmic here. No, I never sit downwind in, in Phantasmic on a high wind day. All people oh, getting, getting wet. Oh, get water. wet when, when the jets went on for the projection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not too long ago, this was a, a two nighttime park, really. I know. How many studios didn't have much at all, night. Like, and the Animal Kingdom had close to six every day. Yep. So it is so much different now. Yep. I mean, you could spend a night, you spend two weeks here and not do all the nighttime activities. Yeah. It's a big trip. Uh, it's good, good for us. So, so <laughs> I'm looking forward, like to, I'm looking forward <laughs> to learn from you guys since you're spending your locals, you spend all the night in here. No one else is really doing what you're doing. Yep. All the guys I follow, like Passport in the Parks, is very good. Some other guys, they're out during the day. Yep. And uh, I appreciate that because I get a lot of updates from them. But you guys are doing it at night, it's fantastic. So I can't wait to watch you eat some more. Hang out, maybe see rivers of light. We are definitely in the animal kingdom. That's for yeah. sure. Well, great. Thank you so much for all Thanks your for insights. Yeah. yeah, we really appreciate it. And we hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Yeah, with your good to see you guys again. Uh, your family. Please follow. Yes, that's right. Parks after dark. Parks after dark, guys. So I'm here with Calvin. It is Calvin's birthday today. Happy birthday, Calvin! Spending the day at Disney World with Dave. Yes, I am. How many fast passes have you had today, Calvin? Eight. Eight. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot. What rides do you go on? Oh god. Too many to count. <laughs> well, what was your favorite that you went on? Face down. Face down. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh it's it closed, closed down, down for a little bit. Oh wow. Well. well, at least you have to go on. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. What's your favorite part? Probably Hollywood. Hollywood is a good one. Oh. Aerosmith Coaster is awesome. I love that. You like Star Wars? Yes. Yes, yes, I do. Excited for Galaxy's Edge to open up? Yeah. I'll be back in a couple years. Yeah. And then also, we have Guardians of the Galaxy. Yep. Yeah, uh, and then we have Star Wars Edge, and then we have the Tron Cycle. There's gonna be so many cool rides in here. So many rides. Yeah. We're glad you got to come to this birthday. And thank you for joining us tonight and telling us about your experience at Disney World. Very nice to meet you, sir. Very nice to meet you.